A false report of an active shooter this afternoon sent a large number of police to the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet in Frankfort. With a swift and quick response from law enforcement, there was no threat to the public, but it was still a scary time for employees forced to leave their offices. Jordan MacArthur spoke with a state worker who was seen running from the building. All of a sudden, our boss came in. She said, put everything down, tell your callers there's an emergency. You'll have to give them a call back. It was a tense situation for workers inside the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet as police surrounded their workplace and the building went on lockdown. I was a little relieved that they were able to respond so quickly to it. Um, but it was scary because stuff like this happens every day and I think it could have gone a lot worse. Um, especially what you hear in schools and like in Louisville at the, at the bank. Um, so it, it is really scary. I'm glad that all, all, everybody seems to be okay. Workers say the recent mass shooting in Louisville was on their minds when they heard police were looking for a person with a gun. King says chills went down her spine. It was kind of unreal. You know, you hear about it on the news, the TV. Um, you never think it's actually going to happen to you. Um, so that was really scary. Um, guns do freak me out a little bit. <laughs> so that was a little terrifying, but I know that they were here to help. The call came just before 3 p.m. Police say the U.S. Marshal and Sheriff's Office worked to clear the building, but they say no evidence that anyone was ever in danger. But I am nervous to come back in tomorrow. They said that they would send us some email updates if they find anything else out, so. Investigators are working to find out who made the threatening call. In Frankfurt, George MacArthur, Fox 56 News.